YouTube! I am Pinstar and this is Pinstar Plays Luck Be a Landlord. So in our last episode of this, I just showed you a baseline level game. Well, we're gonna crank the difficulty all the way up. We are, so when you beat floor one, which has no modifiers, you unlock floor two, which has one, one, one little thing that's a little bit more difficult. Rent payment seven, cost 25 for 25 gold more. Not too bad, just, just a little, a little uptick. But then as you go through and beat that one, you unlock, 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 until we get to floor 20, which stacks up all of these penalties that we have to contend with. That's what we're doing right now. We're gonna, we are going to attempt, I've beaten all of them except for floor 20. So we're gonna make an attempt at floor 20 here, shall we? Now these, uh, these duds here, these are symbols that take up space on my board, but explicitly don't pay out and we can't remove them. So if we get removal tokens, yeah, we can't just rip them off the board. You can destroy them, but your options for doing so can be a little chaotic. Right then, let's spin. All right, where are we going first? Um, I mean, bird tech is always is always uh, on on my mind. Anchors aren't too bad either, because uh, if we want to try to make a diver play, then you got toddler. Toddler seems like a trap though, because toddler doesn't pay out very much for what they destroy. So I'm gonna go owl. I, I do like my birds. All right, well. Oyster, an early oyster can get us ahead early, but if you don't have a way to consume all the pearls that they inevitably produce, that can flood your board and cause a game over because pearls are only worth one. I'm gonna get the gambler, even though we have no way to destroy him yet, he can start increasing his value and he gives one as a baseline, so I'll take that. Let's see. There are some items that benefit off of having multiple cats. I'm not a huge fan of oars, but I since we start with a cat, let's go with a second cat. We will we will seek out cat items. Uh, see if we can benefit from there. All right, I guess we are leaning into the cat play here. If we get any milk, then we have ample things to destroy it. If we get a cow, we'll have a constant production of milk. All right, ultra important. What's our first item of the game? Oh, well, first our first rare pick here. Void creature, because at this stage of the game, we still have blank spaces, which if it, it, the creature won't die immediately, it'll actually make those blank spaces pay off something. And then once it's full up, then it dies and gives us eight and clears itself off the board. So yeah, void creature, not what I was looking for. Mining pick. Mining pick gives us money for destroying them, but it doesn't actually destroy them anymore. It used to way back in the day. Wanted poster, uh, black pepper's probably the better thing because destroying symbols is kind of a thing we want to do a lot of, but it doesn't really do any hard synergies for us. I kind of want to go present, but it's, uh, it's, it's less than one if you let it just spin down. We'll go shiny pebble just to up our rarity finds. Let's see, do we want to go chick and get into eggs? No, I think we go cheese. We can go for a mouse play. Yeah, we go, uh, we do more void creatures since we still have blanks on the board and they are self-disposing. All right, yeah, let's get egg. We could go for an omelet play if we get the right items. Bear, we, we're not really going that. I'm gonna go essence capsule, even though it gives us the minus 12, an extra essence is generally very useful for picking those items. Oh, there's our frying pan. Oh, so we got cat play and we got egg play. Damn, why do I have to choose between these two? Um, I'm gonna go egg play because we got a couple of eggs in there. We've got cheese. Um, so we can we have a good chance of turning those into omelets, which are worth three. And then we can get things like chefs out there. Hopefully they, I just hope they don't hatch. I do not want them to hatch. Uh, let's get the bronze arrow to get everything else kind of bonused up here. Hex of Tedium. That might actually be a good play for us, uh, even though it kind of counters the stone, because now we can st we might be able to get more common things like the like the eggs that we can just take straight up. Yeah, let's go Hex of Tedium, because it's worth three by itself. Ooh, always go for item capsules. Item capsules are the best capsule because there are so many common items that are just game changers, even though they're common, that it's worth rolling the dice for it. 
Ah, I was hoping for a pizza, the cat, or any other of the cat items. Uh, not going toddlers, not going monkeys. I guess we go bear here, just because it pays two. Come on, eggs. More gamblers? More gamblers. We need the egg to land next to the cheese. All right, so we've got our essences here. After a roll each time. Um, I mean, these could help the gamblers pay off a bit more. We don't have any dice yet, but we will eventually get some dice. Like right there. Boom, there's our dice. Uh, we are at the at the point where skipping is good, but lockpick is so good because it makes uh, it, it makes it easier for us to take um, chests so we don't have to worry about fetching keys. Let's use our removal because we want to keep the board clean. Always get rid of that coin unless you're lucked into some, some sort of coin tech. Not feeling it. And I'm going to save my rerolls for the, the, uh, the later spins. There we go. We got our omelet. That's better. And yet, omelets double if uh, if they are next to something that would cook with them. We don't need the key. We skip. More hex of tediums? Why not? Wine, beer, sapphires. Doesn't really play well with what we got. I mean, this will eventually turn into a three fur, so I'll take the wine. And there's things that'll consume the wine eventually. Big urn can be broken by a hooligan. We don't have a hooligan, but it pays two by itself. Hopefully we don't die before these uh, gamblers pay off. Hmm, all right, destroys itself after it adds seven animals, gives us a lot of money. After five are destroyed, yeah. Are we gonna be adding animals though? Not really, we're looking for eggs. We'll get the quiver. I mean, the billionaire technically can work, but the five-sided dice actually kind of works a little bit better. Ooh, clear sky. Man, if we were going flower tech, or or moon tech i'd go for this but we don't have anything to benefit grave robber helps us out so much better gets rid of the need for the uh hooligan eventually i'll take a lucky capsule um amethyst not really fit doesn't really fit in with what we're going for i don't think we have anything that can boost up an amethyst really um so I'm not going to take it, even though it's rare. I'm going to go the Wealthy Capsule. We need the money now so we don't die before our gamblers die. Uh, yeah, we skipped that. All right, good. Got boosted the omelet. Skip those. It's a little late for the call. Skip that. We're not going bird play at this point. And we can take urns for free because they'll get broken on their own. And then the spirits will eventually decay by themselves and remove them, which plays into our black pepper. Uh, Hex of Draining? I mean, we are kind of leaning into hexes, which there are synergies for hexes, and draining's not too awful. Um, or we could use our, you know, let's re, let's re roll. Good thief. Do we want to go for thief? That's a lot of like wait for later stuff. Let's try one more. Ah, uh, bronze arrow, another one of them. Hey, pizza the cats. Or do we want to go dark humor? I mean, we have a wine sitting out there. We're, we're getting plenty of spirits here. And getting comedians in. But Pizza the Cat is like just guaranteed because we have three cats, right? I took three cats. I took three cats. Yeah, you know, let's, we, we take the guarantee. Um, We're not going flower play. So we remove the flower. Ooh, 
good, good arrow on those. Uh, do we go for the Hexa Thievery? That one's a little bit nasty in terms of keeping it around. Like, I wouldn't take that unless I had an already established Synergizer for Hexes. And more kitties. We can take more cats in hopes of getting a... Uh, in hopes of getting a uh, another cat synergizer, because there are a lot of cat synergizers beyond just Pizza the Cat. That's like that's like your entry level synergizer. Sand dollar, no, not flower. Yeah, we skip those. Eventually, the duds decay, but you add a new dud every 15 spins, so they're always going to be uh, around. Not going flower tech. Oh, we do want the egg, because we, we do have omelets. There you go, new omelet. And omelets synergize with each other, so getting, getting, omelets, getting more omelets on the board will just make everything more reliable. Don't need the hooligan. Don't need the cultist. Um, oh no, oh no. Hey, there goes our gamblers. They finally pay off. And pay off big time, too. We don't need to go crazy with the dice, especially for the three-sided ones. I do like the five-sided ones. All right, let's see. Devil's Deal. Uh, if you can't afford it, it gives us 33. That's not too bad. Gives us an extra removal, but we're not really drowning in symbols. I'll take the devil deal. Ooh, Dame A. Eh? Well, now now it makes sense to go after um, the higher tier gems. Um, man, there's that clear sky again. Twice. Take the white pepper, because again, we can't really use the clear sky, nor do we really have it set up for it. Like, if we had a bunch of wolves and rabbits, you know, we could do go for a moon play, but we don't. We have a singular owl. That's not worth, you know, getting that. Plus, we don't have any suns or moons anyway. Yeah, see, two omelets next to each other buff each other, which is useful. Ooh, bartenders, good. Um, good for, because they can sp spawn uh, martinis. We'll take the bartender, because the dame eats martinis. She'll play off of the low-level gems, but she really wants the higher-level gems. She won't drink the lower-level stuff, though, so no reason to add the beer. Mm, he added something. We'll see what that is in a moment. Yeah, none of these. Added a... What did they add? They added a beer. That's okay. We might need to take a dwarf to, to drink the beers. And the wine as well. Uh, don't need the well a, a, a goose for the for the eggs. Not too bad because golden eggs play off of uh, those. I'll take a goose, a singular goose, just in the hopes that they they uh, give us a, a, an egg at least. No, no bear. We do have the one bear, but. We're not going really for a honey play. Oh yeah, we'll take the essence capsule. Okay, well there's the sun. Uh, now Midas Bomb. Midas Bomb can take out some of our duds. Are there any critical infrastructure that we really don't want it to hit? Not really. I'd actually be okay with an unaimed Midas bomb. See what it takes out and rebuild from there. All right, it didn't show up on this board. That's okay. Copycat. Oh, now I regret five or more are adjacent. Yeah, I'd take this if I didn't take a Midas bomb. I mean, I could remove it before I use it, but then that seems wasteful. I'll take the coffee, give us extra spins. We'll take the target, because that's something... Actually, you know what? Let's reroll. An apple. You know what? We'll go apple, in case we get a witch. Hmm, barrel of dwarves, eh? I might take that and pop it, 
to sort of soften the blow. Yeah, we'll pop it. Um, what do I want to actually remove? The cherries, nothing plays off of the cherries. Ah, uh, that was a weak ass bomb right there. Well, poop. All right, well, more eggs, more omelets. Now I need a General Zorov to eat all these dwarves. I mean, they share those, so then they both get the benefit. So at least temporarily, that's not a bad thing. And we got more omelets going. Uh, we'll take the safe since we have the lock pick. It's not a guaranteed thing, but eventually it'll crack itself open. Uh, we'll take the hex of emptiness. I'm okay with that one. We still have that apple, which plays off of the witch. Um, we'll get the egg. Get more omelets. Get more eggs. More eggs, more omelets. I regret my dwarf decision immediately. We need it. We need General Zeroff to, to kill them all. Let's skip this. A wild card? Never turn that down. It basically gives itself value, whatever the highest value thing adjacent to it. Ooh, instant ramen is really, well, instant, instant ramen essence is good. You skip an item and then you get offered two more items, which is really good. I'm going that. Uh, frozen fossils actually really good. It might take a while, but getting the eldritch creature, which eats uh, hexes is really awesome. We're taking that. Oh, there's the Roth's contract. Um, that would allow us to get a bounty hunter to be, to play Zeroff here. I might actually take Zeroff's contract and then just take a bounty hunter. Uh, and then we'll use our, our ramen essence skip for next time. Because bounty hunters are common. Unlike Zeroff, who is rare. Um, yeah, we skip. Don't need any of those. Getting some new stuff in. Joker, you know what? We'll take the hex the tedium. There we go. Drink that beer. Oh, and yeah, that 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 wild card symbol paying off. Um yeah, we can take an urn. Where's my, um, I'll take a void fruit. I haven't, oh, there's our bounty hunter. Thank God. Smack. Now he is also going to kill our dame and our bartender, unfortunately, but I think we just need to thin things out. I was waiting for that to show up and count itself down. Because we got to survive to get that thing out. Uh, yeah, we'll go tomb. Or do we reroll? Mm, these, uh, I'll take them, even though they're probably going to die. Ah, uh, man, I really want to skip for the extra things. Um, but give 1.5 more when... No, we take the clover. It's too good. Uh, what do we manually remove? We get rid of the pearl. Get a self-disposing capsule. Yeah, extra bartenders will keep them around a little longer. Have them making booze. Uh, don't want any of those. So far, my dwarves have been staying away from this guy. Yeah, more essences, please. Although that might kill us in in money, because we were cutting it a little close. 
Let's skip here. I know the smaller is just not quite worth it. There we go. Oh, well, there goes our bartenders. It's too bad our guy didn't get boosted. Yeah, more hexes. That'll allow our other symbols to show up a bit more. I'm not taking more cats. We can just take the miner just so he can get smacked around by Zeroth. Or, well, the, the bounty hunter. It's worth 20, essentially. Take a chick to go into a chicken. Ooh, the fact that we had the, the, um, that symbol just barely kept us alive. So yeah, we're gonna have to make a big play here. After 12 spins, when an essence destroys itself. Oh, actually this lets us get extra things out of the ramen. Absolutely. Gives 50, um... Ooh, okay. Um, golden egg, I think, is the correct answer here. Uh, we skip this for the ramen. And we get offered two more things. Um, skip that for the ramen. We're not going checkered flag. Happy hour? Our bartenders just got killed. There's our third offering of clear sky. Fine, I'll take it. I don't know if we're going to do anything with it. What symbols do we get? Nope. We'll take a void stone. All right, that was not as productive as I would have liked it to have been. We need this guy to hatch. Yeah, they play off of the golden egg, which is why it's a good thing. Uh, no. Because I want the Eldritch Beast to go out there and start eating all of the uh, hexes so that I can get back to rare items. Or like a witch. I'll take a Tedium Capsule because we're under those effects anyway. More arrows are more are, are good. Skip it. All right, so that went off, meaning we can't take a symbol next time, which is fine. The only time that's really bad is at the the one when you have to pay rent, because uh, that's when you get the the rarity boosted choices. All right, good. I'm glad that popped itself. Um, do we have any dwarves left? We have four dwarves left. We'll take the the wine. Somehow, ah, we are 100 short. Yep. I, I felt that one slipping away from me, but it was worth a shot. Worth a shot. Uh, uh, floor 20 is no joke. Uh, so maybe I'll uh, make another attempt here. So if you guys like this episode and you want to see more like it, go ahead and hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button and leave me a comment. Good, bad, or indifferent, your feedback's always welcome. So until next time, it's been Pinstar signing out. See ya! Thank you